This is Adulting Lesson 15, What is Success? The question is, what is success? The second question is, what is successful adulting? Well, according to your mom, she wants you to be happy, self-supporting, that is out of her basement, healthy. People want to be you, especially her friends, and to find a nice partner and have attractive babies. As for you, you don't know. Here's what you do know. Everything you do other than stay in the basement is hard. You don't actually know very many successful adults. Most of the successful people you know are jerks or scandalous. Pathetic losers actually make you feel better about yourself. You can't get your brain around reproduction. P.S. Your body is way ahead of you. You're impatient and want all of this to happen immediately. Great news, you didn't invent this either. This is part of the human condition and even the ancient people worried about it. According to this source, in ancient Greece, kids were sheltered. Girls were trained to be caregivers. Boys were expected to be heads of households. There was military training, that is, they're taken away from their moms. And there were rites of passage. There was clear communication of political and social expectations. In ancient Rome, for girls, the marriage was a stated goal. There was a formal ceremony of adulthood where you changed from child to adult clothing. You had to choose between the military or politics. In the Sioux tribe, girls were protected by the tribe, but boys were trained from the womb to emulate the great male role models. They were trained by both parents from early life and the six virtues. Silence, love, reverence, generosity, courage, and chastity. Today, these virtues are more commonly associated with cowboys, which is ironic. Movie cowboys may differ considerably from actual cowboys. Then they were taken on a vision quest or taken out of the country and dumped off without food or water. After a few days, they started to hallucinate. They were expected to return to the tribe as an adult and tell everybody about the visions. Now, girls and boys are raised the same. Kids are raised by daycare workers and teachers who are mostly female. There's no clear expectations. There are no rites of passage. The military is voluntary. It's not at all clear what marriage should be. No wonder you're confused. This is the end of lesson 15. Thanks for watching.